With the Gamma Draconis system secure, a task force of Terran and the Sudan scientists is now examining the subspace portal. At this point, the scientists have ruled out the possibility the device is of Shivan origin. Dr. Mina Hargrove, leader of the research team, has issued a report of its preliminary findings. An excerpt of this report follows. The subspace portal is unlike any Shivan construction we have yet encountered. Though Shivans demonstrate considerable diversity as a species, all Shivan technology possesses certain distinctive properties. None is present in the subspace device, which means we must look elsewhere for the portal's origin. We do know that the device is very, very old, on the order of several thousand years. The field generated by the interlocking movement of the portal's components creates a subspace vortex, connecting one part of the universe to another. Dr. Hargrove theorizes that whoever built this device may have used it to stabilize a jump node on the verge of collapse. Dr. Hargrove is correct. This technology is a tremendous discovery. By constructing our own portal, we might be able to reopen the soul jump node in Delta Serpentis. Since the destruction of the Lucifer caused the node to collapse 32 years ago, Earth has remained isolated from the GTVA. We might also be able to stabilize subspace nodes that are currently too volatile for travel, thus creating routes to systems previously unexplored. Our military operation will focus on what lies on the other side of the subspace portal. We must determine where the node leads and the extent of the Shivan presence there. Above all, we must prevent the Shivans from returning to Gamma Draconis. Because the portal will remain active while the research team studies the technology, our systems are vulnerable to attack. Allied Command has deemed this an acceptable risk given the potential benefits. At 1540 hours, the GTD Aquitaine entered the subspace portal in Gamma Draconis and jumped to our current position. We have entered a nebula, a vast and dense ionized field, and possibly the remnant of a supernova. We have traveled farther than any Terrans in the history of subspace travel. The nebula has severely limited the Aquitaine's long-range sensors. We are deploying our fighter wings to explore the immediate vicinity and determine the extent of the enemy presence. Each fighter squadron will deploy a flight of four wings. Alpha, Zeta, Iota, and Kappa will patrol a series of four waypoints. Zeta wing will lead this sortie, so follow Zeta-1 and do not stray. Be advised the nebula could interfere with your onboard systems. The ionized field will compromise your sensors, even within combat range. Iota Wing, you are cleared to take off. Kappa Wing, you have clearance. Zeta Wing, go. Alpha Wing, go. Zeta-1's lead to the waypoints. Okay, Alpha. Target my fighter and try to keep up. Boost your engine power and be ready to hit your burners because we're gonna get through this one fast and clean. Good luck, pilots. Keep a tight formation and look out for each other. Let's all get home alive. How are we supposed to get a visual confirmation? I can't see a thing in this mess. Rather be fighting the NTF if you ask me. I never signed on for hunting Sheevans. Don't kid yourself. We're the ones being hunted, pilot. Command should shut down that portal and send the Aquitaine back to Deneb. We've got no business being out here. If Command needs your opinion, they'll promote you to Admiral. Now shut up and focus. All flights report in. 
This is IOTA-1. Sensors are picking up zilch command. We're flying blind out here. Alpha-2 here. Nothing to report. This is Ada-1. All clear. Kappa Wing, what's your status? Over. Kappa Wing, this is Allied Command. Please respond. IOTA Wing, investigate Kappa's last waypoint. The ionized field is interfering with our transmission. something on sensors. I can't get a lock. Hostile targets confirmed. A wing of manacores closing fast. Pilots, destroy those players and stay alert. Watch for a franking maneuver. No problem, Command. We'll take them down. nebula somewhere. Those fighters couldn't survive out here on their own. This nebula could be 10 or 20 light years in diameter. Finding a single ship would be impossible. Unless the Sheevans find us first. Do we have a status update on Kappa Wing? Negative. No word from Kappa yet. We'll find out in debriefing. Indicators on radar. Something big. A cruiser or a corvette. Do you recognize the configuration? Is it a Rakshasa or a Kane? Negative command. It's a Terran cruiser. Fenris class. There's no Allied ship authorized in your vicinity. Hail them, pilot. This is Zeta Wing of the 107th Ravens, GTD Aquitaine. Please identify yourself. 
This is Captain Arthur Romake of the GTC Trinity. We have sustained heavy damage and our jump drive is inoperative. We need immediate assistance. Your designation is incorrect, Romick. Your ship defected to the NTF 10 days ago. You have been stripped of your rank and citizenship in the GTVA. Surrender the Trinity or be destroyed. As captain of the NTC Trinity, I surrender on the condition you get us the hell out of here. What's your status? We repelled a Shivan attack, but engines sustained critical damage. I powered down non-essential systems so the Shivans wouldn't detect us. We've been drifting ever since. What's your assessment of the damage? Some components were destroyed in the attack, but my chief engineer thinks a field repair is possible. We will send a damage control team with the necessary components. Transmit your diagnostics. Transmitting now. What were you doing out here, Romic? As a prisoner of war, my rights are protected under the Beta Aquilae Convention. I will answer no questions, Command. I thought Rebels didn't recognize Baytac. No, but we do, Pilot. Damage control has been deployed. They should be arriving momentarily. Discovery here. Initiating docking procedure. Watch our backs, little friends. Bandits incoming! Point secure. Okay, Romic, we're taking you and your crew into custody. Follow the drill and no one gets hurt. More hostiles incoming. Keep the Shevans away from the Trinity pilots. That ship won't survive another attack. Give us a time estimate, Discovery. We can jury rig a solution in 15 minutes, Command. confronted an overwhelming Shivan force in a hostile environment. Under these circumstances, there was nothing you or anyone else could have done to save the Trinity and our boarding party. You were lucky to survive this sortie, pilot. We have heard nothing from Kappa Wings since they vanished from our sensors. Unfortunately, we must presume the worst. They will be listed MIA unless we find evidence to the contrary. Our search parties have found no trace of these fighters. The presence of the Trinity deepens the enigma of the NTF secret agenda. What was the Trinity doing out here? And what does Bosch know about the subspace portal? All patrols have uncovered an extensive Sheevan force in the nebula. 
Command will deploy more warships through the subspace portal to assist with our mission of exploration and containment. IOTA and Epsilon wings encountered two Sheevan cruisers near our current location. When our reinforcements arrive, we will move against them. 32 years ago on the Altair system, Vesudan scientists discovered the remnants of an extinct civilization we now call the Ancients. And here we found the secret to defeating the Sheevans. How close did we come to being a footnote in the history of a future species that would happen upon our ruins 10,000 years from now? Would they indulge in the fiction of their own immortality until the Sheevans came for them? And how long had this gone on? Did the ancients stumble upon the monoliths and the tombs of their predecessors in this distant corner of space, dismissing the warnings carved in the walls of the sepulcher? And when the destroyers came at last, what did the ancients think as they sifted the cremation of dust and bones, staring into the mute remains for a key? Some solution to their plight. What if there had been countless races, stretching back into infinity, and like the nine cities of Troy, each civilization had been built on the rubble of one that came before, each annihilated by the Sheevans. The ancients died 8,000 years ago. As humanity emerged from its Neolithic infancy, they believed their voyage across the Sea of Stars woke the dragon that slept beneath the waves, that the Sheevans were birthed from the flux of subspace, and their destruction was the revenge of an angry cosmos.